Hey guys, and welcome to this video all about Zettelkasten in Notion. So we're gonna hop straight into it. I presume that you know what Zettelkasten means. You know, if you're on this video, you know that Zettelkasten is German for slipbox. And it was invented by Nicholas Luhmann, who was a amazingly smart, genius guy. But I'm just gonna jump straight into it. So we're here on my personal Notion. So I have my own way of doing it, you know, this is my own personal way of doing it, and I also have technically two separate Zettelkastens. So I have one just for knowledge, which I've just called Knowledge Hub, and then I have the one separately for ideas, um, because I kind of wanted to keep them separate. I don't know why, you know, sometimes you just have to follow your intuition. And also I just, I wanted to be able to, yeah, I just wanted to be able to look at my ideas because I have a lot of them. Firstly, we're gonna go over the knowledge one, okay? And I chose this sunshine emoji because knowledge is like sunshine in the darkness of our lives. Um, let's add a cover. Just so you know guys, you don't have to just use these ones, you can upload your own picture, you can uh, get them straight from Upsplash. So say you wanted a frog. Perfect. Oh, he's so cute. Let's reposition him so we can see his beautiful eyes. There you go. So it is very simple. So I'm going to run you through how to set it up right now. So let's start a new page and let's call it. So we copied and pasted it from Google search because we cannot spell it on our own. <laughs> um, it's, I, I don't know, wow, look at that. That just happened first time, random, perfect. That's fate, that means you were meant to click on this video. Click on your little slash icon and we are gonna do a table in line, okay, boom. And we can call it again, Z. So this, we just leave his name because we actually, that's, we can't really change that. And, you know, I like to just keep it real simple. I like to have the name, the tag, and three sentence summary. Um, and with my ideas that I'll cast in, I also include the date just because, I don't know, I want to try keep track of like when I actually had the idea. Let's go ahead and so tags will be a multi-select and this will be three sentence summary. So the reason for this is so that you can really um, condense it into and put it into your own words, whatever piece of knowledge you're saving. I find, so I find it isn't always possible to condense the information into three sentences, but I like to try. So we're gonna go ahead, open this page, and I'm just, you know, pasting in some stuff. It's an article about Pinterest strategies. So we're gonna call it Pinterest strategy. And the tag, again, you can insert the tags here or you can do so here. Uh, let's, so let's do it here just to show you. Uh, so this would be, you know, social media. Uh, it might be also for your business. So this generally isn't um, the the advised way to store knowledge. It is always better to write it in your own words, but this is just for example purposes um, of how to actually set it up rather than the method. We can try and, you know, distrib... distrib Butte, build, community, okay. So that's kind of how it'll, how it'll look. So if you want to add a view, you can come up here, add a, uh, I like to do gallery, create. And, you know, it kind of mimics the original <laughs> Zettelkasten way, because he actually was using cards. So I do like that view, but um, it's just a bit bigger and clunkier. Um, so I usually just use the, the default view. Uh, let's say this one is about um, growth hacking. And let's say, you know, Facebook, Pinterest, 
coupons. Okay, I'm just I'm just writing random stuff here. And again, it's for social media and business. And let's say you want to, because we have talked about Pinterest in a, another page, we can backlink. We've talked about um, Pinterest before in another one. So in order to link those ideas, um, we're going to do a backlink. How we do that is we double press the bracket, you know, that square bracket, two brackets, and then this will come up and type in Pinterest. So now we can link to Pinterest strategy because it's linked. Okay. So that means when we come to review our notes on growth hacking, we can be like, oh, Pinterest. Okay. Well, I've talked about that before. And there's a whole Pinterest strategy that I can follow and we can click on it and we can go here. And it says you've got one backlink. So they're linking to and forth from each other. And this is a fairly new um, feature that Notion have put in. Well, I think since like September last year. Um, and it's really to kind of compete with uh, things like Rome. Let's go to our, our idea Z. And it's pretty much the exact same thing. Again, I have a gallery view and I have a default view. The only thing I've added is the date. And also I have created a template actually for, cause I find, you know, I have a lot of ideas and I don't really have a way to uh, sort of analyze if they're good ideas. So I have a detailed explanation. This is an idea to learn to draw in 30 days, not just for myself, but uh, you know, for as a YouTube idea. So I've got further research and examples. So I've got the detailed explanation. I've got further research and examples. Uh, pros and cons, and action steps. As you can see, I have my idea template here. You can create a new template um, to suit whatever <laughs> your needs are. So that's pretty much it. It's very simple. I like to keep things simple so that it doesn't get in the way of what I'm actually trying to do. And again, you can combine your ideas with your knowledge. I, this is just how I have chosen to do it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time. Goodbye.